Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heavens Devotional for today, Monday, the 22nd of November, 2021. I'm carrying the magic to me. Open Heavens is authored by that in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for another opportunity to learn at your feet. We we'll pray that even as we learn today, that the Holy Spirit will expand your word in, your, in our heart. That the Holy Spirit himself will teach us that your word will deliver us. Your word will set us free. Your word will prosper us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is envy is evil. Envy is evil. A memory verse is taken from James 3 verse 16. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. A Bible reading is taken from James 3 verse 13 to 16. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom. But if ye have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly sensual, devilish. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The message. Envy is so serious that Proverbs 27 verse 4 says, Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? This means that wrath and anger are no match of envy. Beloved, it will take divine intervention for an envious person to escape the consequences of his or her actions. Joseph was the subject object of envy, even among his brothers, so much so that they could have killed him if not for God who kept him. In the end, however, all those who were envious of the grace of God upon his life bowed to him. Are you an object of envy from members of your household, biological or spiritual? The Lord will deliver you today in Jesus' name. Amen. God's word is true throughout the ages. Thus, we must watch out for our attitude towards it. Jesus said in Matthew 10 verse 36 that, A man's bone shall be there of his own household. Joseph's story is a lesson for believers who share testimonies of divine happenings that are still at incubation stage. Thus, furnishing the enemies with information that will be used against him. Joseph naively revealed his dream of becoming a ruler to his brothers who were already envious. He could have kept the dream to himself and would still have fulfilled his destiny because it was of the Lord. I know this because Psalm 33 verse 11 says, The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. As God's children, the Bible is full of assurances of protection for us. Psalm 23, for example, says that true, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we, fear, we shall fear no evil, and that goodness and mercy shall follow us wherever we go. We must be mindful, however, of the kind of people we share our visions, dreams, and aspirations with, because the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 We must not deliberately rouse the envy of our enemies, because grace does not cover frivolity. While we have the guarantee of the Lord's protection, we must also be careful not to cut envy by our actions or inactions, thereby generating unnecessary strife. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is envy is evil. Envy is evil. Just like our daddy has put it here, that wrath and anger are no match of envy. Yes, wrath, like the word of God says in Proverbs 27 verse 4, that wrath is cruel, anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? So it is obvious in, of a truth that envy is evil. And like our daddy has told us, that it will take divine intervention for an envious person not to escape his consequences. So as many that are envious of one person or the other, it takes the divine intervention of God for them not to, you know, not to for them to escape the consequences of their actions. And like he has prayed for us, even as Joseph was, you know, was being was was a victim of envy, his brothers eventually bowed for him. 
as many that are envious of you and they are plotting against your downfall in one way or the other, the Lord will deliver you and I from their hands and they shall bow before us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we are told that, however, all those who are envious of the grace of God upon our life will bow for us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joseph was an object of ridicule even among his brothers, among his brothers. And just like the word of God says, just like our daddy said, he said we must watch out for our attitudes towards the word of God. One of the word of God says that a man's foes shall be day of his own household in Matthew 10 verse 36. So one of the people we should be careful of are the people of our own household. And you know, when they talk about people of your own household, it could be your family member, it could be biological, it could be spiritual. You could even be a member of your own household in the place where you work. And those are the people, and as a result of that, like he has told us, that we should watch out for our attitude. So we should watch out for our attitude even with these people. Like he put it, that we, we shouldn't share testimonies that are still in incubation stage. Yes, Joseph, we should le- take a lesson from the story of Joseph. You know, one of the things Joseph did was he shared his dream. They had, had not act, you know actualized. We should also be careful in sharing our visions, in sharing our visions with people, our dreams, our aspirations with people, whether they have been material they've materialized or not. We should be careful in sharing it with people, especially members of our household. Members of our household now could be biological, it could be spiritual, it could also be people in your place of work or people just among you, you should be careful because in furnishing his, you know, he's furnishing his testimony, his brothers were already envious of him. That actually brought about more envy in them and they were angry and they almost got him killed, if not for the grace of God. And really, one of the reasons why you should, whether you share it with them or not, that does not mean that that is how the dream will that is how that vision that the Lord has given to you will be actualized. Because the word of God says the counsel of the Lord standeth forever. So whatever he says he will do for you, he will definitely do. And if we look at it, we should be mindful, however, of the kind of people we share our things with. In this age and time of social media's age, that even before anything happens, you have shared it on social media. Not only are you even sharing it with people within you, you have shared it to the whole world. You know, I remember somebody telling me that in these days, when you just look at people's status, you look at social media, and it makes her even want to be depressed. You just see people doing this, doing that. And no wonder there's so much depression out there now because you can easily see everybody's success. And if you are not careful, you'll be carried away. And that could actually, some people have had hypertension. Some people have even want to commit suicide because of what they are seeing. And like somebody said, he said there are three categories of people in life. He said one of them is the one that readily just want to steal. They are looking for, you know, they are on the lookout for who they will steal from. Another one is the one that it he does not want to steal. Whether you bring your money at his table or not, he will never steal it. But the third category are the people, they are not ready to steal and they are ready to steal. If the opportunity comes... That is when they will steal. They are not on the lookout. But once the opportunity... Likewise, when it comes to envy too. There might be people who are not even envious of you. But as a result of what you have done, your actions or inactions, they become envious of you. And those ones are much more. And that is why, just like our daddy has told us, that we should be careful. He says, we must not deliberately arouse the envy of our enemies. You don't even know who your enemy is. Like the word of God says, he said, the heart of a man is desperately wicked. Is it says is deceitful and desperately wicked. When is deceitful, that means you won't even know. The person you think is not envious of you might actually be the one that is envious of you. You know, the person that is, you know, going all about for you, trying to, you know, in your own eye, you think the person is looking for your good, might actually be the one that is envious of you. And because the heart of man is deceitful and is desperately wicked. So we must be careful. You know, in our actions and inactions, not to cut envy from men. You know, do maybe to be it through social media, through your conversation, through the careless word you have told to people. 
you should learn to keep your vision. If, if we look at that Bible reading that we read, the Proverbs 30, 30, the Proverbs 3 verse 30, it says, Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him shew out of good conversation his works. You know, the Yorubans will say, when your yam is, is you know, when, when your yam is germinating, you should use your hand to cover it. You know, so that people will not really see how big it is. But in these days, even what you have not achieved and what you have achieved, you are already spill, spilling it out and arousing, you know, envy and attracting people to envy you. So even those that ordinarily were not even thinking of envying you, you have added them. You are recruiting more enemies for yourself. I pray in the name of Jesus that the wisdom to know the right conversation, to know the right people to speak to, the Lord will give unto us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Just like our daddy said, he said, yes, the Lord has guaranteed us protection. He has assured that he will protect us. That even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we should we shall fear no evil. He has also said, goodness and mercy shall follow us wherever we go. But because he has said that, we should also be careful. We should be very careful. We shouldn't take that for granted and say that, oh, the, well, I have the grace of God covering me so I can say whatsoever I can say. And just like he said, he said the grace of God does not cover frivolity. That means what you do unnecessary, what you have done unnecessarily, or whatever you have done in a silly way, what you could have avoided, but yet you still did it. The grace of God will not cover it. So therefore, we should be wise. We should apply wisdom. And I pray that the Lord will help us, even that we will not deliberately stir up envy in the heart of people. And as many that, you know, whether you like it or not, there are people that you will not even stir up envy in their heart but they will still envy you. Also that you will not even recruit more into yourself. And as many that have taken it upon themselves to envy you, whether you have stirred it up or not, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that the Lord will deliver you from their hands and they will bow before you in the order of Joseph in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The prayer point, it says, Father, please grant me wisdom not to deliberately stir up envy. Please protect me and my family from all evil. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord will protect you and I from every evil, from the wicked and the deceitful men. And He will give us this, He will, he will help us to discern even the deceitful and the wicked, so that we will know who we will make our mentor, who we can share our dreams with. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen. <music>